Okay, guys, today is Friday, June 10th, 2016. I have been totally inspired by Melody from Transforming Melody and Rhonda from Spanky Cola. They, they do uh, their spiritual planners and they do their daily, I don't know what you would do, prayer. Um, and they have like a little corner for that and they have a tote and and they have their journals and everything. And um, I'm going to try this out. I want to start off my days. It's early and nobody's up yet. Um, so I thought I would just sit in my corner here. This is my actually my husband's chair, but that's the quilt that I got for my friendship quilt. And I put it on the back there. I'm going to sit here for a little bit and start on this. There's Maddie reporting for guard duty. She says, yes, I, I'm keeping you safe. Tail is a wagon. I wonder what they're thinking when their tail is a wagon. Usually it means something. What's your deep contemplation of thought? Hmm? What? She says, you keep putting that camera in my face and I'm not quite liking it. You're trying to distract me. Anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. It's a good day so far. And I'm having my normal breakfast. <laughs> Three points for the cup of Cheerios. Three points for half a cup of 2% milk, nothing for the banana and water. I think today is going to be a good day. This is an 11 point lunch, which is pretty high for my normal lunches. Usually I'm about 7 or 8, but anyway, I'm having a pita with, I have turkey. I have um, 2 ounces of turkey breast for 1 point. I have a whole one of these um, pitas for 4 points. I could have had a half, but I was really hungry, so going with the whole. And then I had um, a half an ounce of this mozzarella for one point, and two tablespoons of regular ranch, and that's five points. There's the killer right there. But I didn't just think this would go well with mustard, so I'm going to own it and eat it. Eating my lunch and watching one of my faves. Hi, Melody, from Transforming Melody. And now I'm watching her outside, because Kylie has her cousin and her friend over, and you can hear them but not see them in the pool. I got my sister exchange, card exchange from... I'm not going to show you your address. Kirsten Amber was my secret sister. So I'm going to see what's in there. Okay, this was so nice of her. She knows that I like to work with my happy planner. So she sent me some stickers to go with that. This is the cutest little uh, hydrate, water hydrate bottle. And uh, look, a little workout and shoes and scales and to do. These are just so cute. To do cancel. Wow, and then she, I'm going to quickly show you her letter. She has it really cute the way she's um, used some stickers inside of it. I'm not going to show it to you, but uh, how nice. And I so, so, so appreciate it, Kirsten. I love watching your channel. And so it's nice. It's cool that you got me. And um, it's a really cute card. Look at that. Life with the little bike, which I like biking. And a uh, little bunny on it. And even the envelope's nice. I mean, how nice. This really made my day. I mean, I was having a great day anyway, and this is just like the topper of it. So, thanks so, so, so much. Doesn't this look nice and refreshing? Ice cold water in a glass bottle with some lemon, chopped up lemon. It's one of those diffuser bottles. And look at the color, Melody. Okay, I'm waiting here in the car, picking up my friend's girls. They have like a band program at the high school. Anyway, <laughs> and um, she works, and so I'm going to get them and bring them home. And uh, I just wanted to go back on here and thank Kristen Amber again. I, so cute. I was wondering if I was going to get a card, and I was like um, hopeful. I was hopeful because I had sent mine out, and I'm thinking, mm. but I can see. Well, it came from Canada. She lives in Canada. I don't think that's giving away too much. It's a big country. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you where in Canada, but she does live in Canada, and. Um, She's a good channel, and I'm going to link her down below, her channel down below. She's so cute. I mean, I like watching younger people, and um, 
And I don't know why. I mean, they're probably thinking, what is that old bat watching me for? But I just, <laughs> I like watching all kinds of different people. And that's just how you get to know things that you didn't, you're never going to know. Like if I just hung around with my friends who are my age, I would only know things about things that happened in my age. You know, I listen to my kids and their friends. And not that I think I'm there that age. That's not it at all. I just want to know what's happening. I want to know, you know, what the cool things people saying are and what's not cool. Because <laughs> my kids will tell me that. They let me know for sure that, that oh, mom, people don't say that anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I do. I don't care. But anyway, um, and so I just, and she's really, she's a lot of fun. And uh, I just, yeah, she's got a cat and a dog and just so cute. But anyway. <laughs> Um, and I just wanted to thank her for that. And I'm just sitting here, eh, don't know what else I'm going to talk about. I'm in a really good mood. I woke up in a really good mood and I've stayed in that really good mood. And anyway, I don't know. We're going to go out tonight for a couple's dinner with, um, a couple, we'd go with two other couples. Um, and I don't, we're going to a place I've never been before. So I don't really know, like to pre-plan. Everybody says pre-plan. I think they have salads and I'll probably get a salad because that's my best bet. Um, and I put it to like a bar grill kind of a place. And so they're going to have a lot of tempting things. Like, you know, when you go to a, a hamburger place, you know, like a, a bar grill, you know, they have really good hamburgers. They usually, and good fries and onion rings and all that stuff. And my crowd, that's what they're going to eat. And they always get appetizers for the table. Um, you know, we take turns buying those and we just share them in the middle. And I just know that, the, you know, they're going to call my name. And I'm going to try to be good, but I probably have something. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know right ahead of time. Um, and this week has just kind of been a bust. Not that, you know, I haven't tried. I just really haven't, haven't tried. I haven't gone swimming, which I miss that. And I really do miss that. Um, so next week I already got a plan. And, you know, the last day of school was today. So the um, the kids are off. And uh, th this way we don't have to get up early. Kyle's like, oh, not an early morning riser. You know what I'm saying? So um, the plan for Monday, other than these girls here, <laughs> I have to drive them back. They have to be at the school at 8.30 in the morning, and so I'm going to do that for them. But generally speaking, I'm going to be walking with Sandy at 7.30 to 8.30. That's our plan. We'll walk for an hour in the morning. She'll have to get up early. That'll kill her. But um, And then when I get back from that, at about 8.30, Callie will have already been up on her own. She'll already have had her breakfast. She can get herself ready. And then Josh is there, so it's not like I'm leaving them there by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And we're walking around the block, so if they had any kind of an emergency... They could call me. I could be home, like, within 10 minutes, not even. You know, I'd run if it was a real emergency, you know. Believe it or not, I'd run. <laughs> anyway, um, and so uh, then we're going to go swim. They have not swim. Water aerobics. They have water aerobics at 9 a.m. And Sandy's, Sandy's not going to be able to do that because uh, she's going to be watching her grandkids on and off with different wounds. And so um, they're not going to be able to do that with her. But I'll bring Kylie with me because Kylie likes the water aerobics. She's just only getting up early. So this should be a good compromise. And then we'll be home by like 1030. And then that's when her, you know, the granddaughters that she watches, you know, they'll be out and about ready to go hang out with Kylie or whatever and do whatever. Um, so that's the plan. And so I'll be able to get water aerobics in Monday through Friday. And I'll be able to walk Monday through Friday. And I don't know what I'll do on the weekends. Who knows? They, probably not the water aerobics. They don't have it. Um, they have open swim, but then there's a million kids. That's not my favorite thing. Like, you know, we have our own pool. I could be in our own pool if I wanted to be with kids. So I, I don't see me going there on Saturday. And then it's not open on Sunday. The The aquatic center is not open on Sunday. So couldn't do that anyway. But I hope to be getting in my pool if it warms up a little bit more. It's still cold. It's still cold. But, you know, when we get in our pool, Sandy and I, we just float. <laughs> we don't really do too much of exercise. I was going to get those water like dumbbells and um Sandy said okay but you know I don't see us doing that because well then we have the kids with us you know and you know they're going to be doing their thing so we kind of float on one end and then they play all their games and jump off the deck on the other end so that's going to be our plan for the summer so hopefully enough activity will help balance out the all the additional crap I'm going to eat which I shouldn't eat and I know it but you know you go to barbecues and you go to graduation parties and you know you can plan and I do plan and being as healthy as I can be but um, you know let's live in reality to know that that's not going to be the case all the time so um, if I'm doing well on the activity then I can you know 
and watch what I, you know, watch what I eat most of the time, 80-20 is kind of how I'm going to look at it. Maybe that's a good compromise for me. 80 of the percent time being good, 20 percent being bad. And I say bad, I'm not going to, you know, cake and all that. I had that cake, I felt like crap. I mean, it tasted really good, I'm going to tell you. And I had two pieces, I did tell you, on Sunday. Um, and then I really felt like crap on Monday. I was like, oh my goodness, that wasn't, you know, I should, you should know that when you're doing it. You should know that when you're eating it, but it doesn't stop me. You think by now I'd have learned, but no, not really. <laughs> anyway, I'm having fun with the planner, you know, that, and not planner, it's a, a, a um, what's a planner, pocket page, pocket pocket letter exchange that I'm coordinating and I've got a few women that are going to come into it so that's really great if you really want to if you want to do it uh, please join and I can still send you the thing because if you don't have to have it sent out to the following week so I could get the I could get the page out to you that you need to work with and um, I'm going to be coordinating that and on Monday I'm going to be telling I think I had it through Monday you could I'm not sure you know my memory it's either through Monday that you can tell me you want to be in it or I'm going to tell you on Monday. Um, but anyway, let me know. If you tell me before that date, I can um, still get that sheet out to you if you need one. And you can join us because it's going to be a lot of fun. And then, you know, you can just meet another person like the Kirsten. You know, she was uh, very nice to, to have sent that to me. And now I've got a new friend. <laughs> anyway, well, I think they should be coming out soon. I see some kids coming. So I'll let you go for now. And I'll try to show you what I'm having for dinner. Hopefully I'll be able to. Um, they, they're sometimes okay with me filming. And other times they don't want to have anything to do with it. So I ask them as being polite. And um, and if they will, are willing, then you'll see them. And if not, I'll just take a picture. And then you'll be able to see what I ate. 